Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam, this is Phil, and we are Bars and Barbells. Happy to have you guys back. If you are recurring or if you're new, welcome. And today we have men at work down under. That's right. Never checked out men at work before. Yeah. I was like, but clearly they're from down under. <laughs> yes. Down under. How's my accent? I don't know. They'll have to let you know. I'm not an expert on the Australian accent, but we've been enjoying our journey of getting to know a few more Australian groups. Yes. We so started cool. early on with ACDC, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then we got into Jimmy Barnes and John Farnham, but we've expanded much more from, yeah. from there. And doing a lot more lately. Yeah. So uh, we'll be releasing those. I don't know which order they're going to come out in, but uh, we've done a few groups now and they've all been very, very different in their sound. Yeah, very unique from each other. Yes, cool. yeah. So we always appreciate that when you know we get a diverse sound and something that we haven't experienced before, and that's what we plan to get with this one. No idea what to expect. Yeah. Um, does remind me of like a sign I used to see when you know in like construction areas that would mm -hmm. be the sign of men at work. Yeah. And I always like initially, I thought like, well, isn't that kind of sexist in a way? And I was like, men at work. Like that would be the sign that would come yeah. up in the construction site. And I was like, well, that's kind of odd. Why just say, why not say people at work or something like yeah. that, right? But then now that I've gotten a little bit older, because I was really young when I used to think about that. Now as I've gotten older, I realize like there's not very many women usually on a construction <laughs> site. Yeah. I'm not saying there's never any women. No, but it's not frequent. It's just usually that it's Mostly a job men. that men enjoy doing more yeah. so than women. So Yeah, I don't it, can't say I would ever want to do that. So. so maybe at that time when they had that sign, it was literally just all men that were at men work. So at work. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they used the sign. Anyways, that's what it makes me think of. I don't know of anything about the band, but we appreciate your insights in those comments. So drop them down low and let us know about this group. Let us know about your favorite Australian artist or band yeah uh, if we haven't done them already then maybe we can get to them in the future and have you ever been to australia sam i have not i have some family there but i have never made it over there who's your family that's over there uh my grandma's brother and his whole okay. lineage um live in perth nice yeah. i've never been either but i do have family in australia yeah. as well it looks so beautiful the reefs there are, just look so amazing. I would love to go to Yeah, maybe at some point. There. Although the bugs and the animals kind of freak me out a little like bit. Like Bondi Beach looks fantastic. What's, what's it called? Bondi Beach. Ah, not, I'm not familiar with it. Mm -hmm. But I was saying that the animals and the bugs tend to be kind of off-putting to me. I feel like the animals are really cool. It's just well, more of I, the bugs. I, when I say animals, I'm like talking about giant spiders. lizards and like, yeah. you know. yeah. I've always really wanted to go to the Gold Coast region. Yeah. Anyways, we should find about men at work first before we talk about going to Australia. Maybe we Australia will, travel plans. Maybe we entice to go see some artists in Australia. Anyways, yeah. let's check it out. You ready? Yes. No, we're not. Oh, we have a pop quiz question. That's right. So why don't you give them pop quiz questions? About so the pop quiz question is what popular Australian food item is listed in this song? Blue. What is this? On a hippie trail, head full of zombies. It's a reggae feel. I met a strange lady. She made me nervous. She took me in and gave me breakfast. And she said, Do you come from a land down under? A women go and men wonder.
feel like we got a, a, a Jamaican Australian mix on this, this one. This is cool. It's like a very reggae feel to it. And I'm loving the flute in the melody. Yeah, it's great. Uh, really a great riff from the flute in there mm-hmm. alongside the electric guitar, which mm-hmm. sounds awesome. But it's like got this like reggae vibe yeah, to it. But with then, like an Australian accent. Yeah, but it also makes me think of Australia, though. You know, like the flute is a nice touch yeah. to add in this Australian feel to this reggae vibe mm-hmm. that's going on. Yeah, it's cool. And everything sounds very full. I love it. It's so vibrant. It, like I said, it's so weird. Like if I didn't know this was an Australian song, maybe I wouldn't automatically think, think Australia. of Australia. Yeah. But now that I do know it's from yeah, an Australian group and it's you know called Down Under, which is obviously it perf- it fits perfectly. I'm like, okay, yeah. I, w- I could picture myself driving around Australia listening to Down Under by Men at Work. Yeah, he's also like doing some good storytelling, right? Like kind of talking about yeah. some of these people that he's like encountering and what's going on. I'm kind of like envisioning that in my head. And yeah. also like every time they say Down Under and then they say, can you hear the thunder? I think of Thunder Down Under, which is an Australian <laughs> male like dance exotic dance show so i'm like that's also kind of weird sam's mind goes to the (laughs) gutter that is i'm just like oh yeah (laughs) i didn't think about that because you know i'm an angel what can i say but um i do agree that they're painting the picture pretty well Mm -hmm. on some of those visuals of what you know australia may represent and you know um they like their beer there mention of that uh but it's very cool i love the song like i said there's so much depth and vibrancy to the sound it's very full i love the mix Mm -hmm. the way it's compiled together yeah Uh, he's got a great voice for you know this song too so no it sits in there really well no complaints i've never heard anything like this like it's this is just so unique to me yeah this is one of my favorite australian songs that we've done for sure Let's go. With a slack jaw, not much to say. Okay. I said to the man, are you trying to tempt me? Why? Because I come from the land of plenty. Okay. And he said, oh, you come from a land down under. Yeah. Women go and men thunder. Can you hear, can you hear the thunder? Ah. You better run, you better I do have a little question here. Question for you commenters. What is men plundering? Yeah, I don't really know what that means. Because uh, I have no idea what they're saying. Nice nice little chorus outro there. Keep it catchy. Yeah. Make sure you remember the chorus. Fade out a little bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know what that means, so you guys need to elaborate on that. Anyways, other than that, what did you what did you think about the song and as a whole, Sam? I really liked it. I thought it was cool, like a very unique and catchy vibe. Like I said before, something completely different than I've ever heard before, but not in one of those ways where it's like, oh yeah, that was really creative and unique. But I would never really listen to it. One of those things yeah. where it's like creative and unique, but like I could listen to this one ever. So yeah, I feel like this uh, must have become a hit. Mm-hmm. You know, it's called Down Under yeah. and it's got a great vibe to it. Very catchy. So I'm sure in Australia, this must have done pretty well in the charts, but you guys can let us yeah, know. Yeah, for sure. And Anyways. I love like the flute in there. Like, again, like I feel like that yeah. was like, a really cool element to add in to make it different. Why don't you let them know about that pop quiz answer? Smith? Yeah. So what popular Australian food item was listed in the song or mentioned in the song? And that is a Vegemite. A Vegemite veg- sandwich, sandwich specifically. actually is what it was. But yeah. Vegemite is, I think, the... Uh, popular australian food yeah which i don't even know what that is so maybe you guys want to elaborate a little bit (laughs) that's why i was gonna ask what why don't you tell us we could google it but we prefer to learn from our great commenters so uh, let us know if you eat vegemite (laughs) 
<laughs> if not, let us know why and let us know what it's made of and what yeah. it goes good with and all that fun stuff. And if we stuff. should try it. I mean, I don't know where we would find that here, but... Yeah, probably imported at an exponential cost, but um, we'll keep our, our eyes open. Anyways, yes. guys, if you like this one, make sure you hit the like button for us. And uh, if you want to join us on this journey that we're on, which we've got over 100,000 subscribers now, and it happened in less than a year, and we're going for 200 now. So we'd love to have you on that journey. We need you to come on that journey to hit 200,000 subscribers. So if you want to check out some entertainment, we got music, comedy, and sports plus history. history. We've had some history recently. And uh, so if you like that stuff, this is a place to be. We'd love to have you as a part of our community. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well because YouTube can be a little finicky about letting people know when we drop content. Yeah, so we don't want you guys to miss out. That's right. We might be dropping some more Australian hit bangers like this one in the yeah. future. So we want you around. Hopefully we see you then. We'll be back tomorrow. See you guys in the next one.